In the Middle Ages, rulers could do almost anything to their guilty citizens. For minor offenses, people were usually hooded with shame, fined, or tied to poles. But if a person was accused of espionage, conspiracy against the king, or violating church regulations, they were brutally tortured and used the most elaborate methods of mockery. Marks of Disgrace Public ridicule of a person was considered humiliating. In European cities there were shameful plaques on which the names of citizens were inscribed. Everyone had the right to spit at the offender, throw rotten food at him, or even throw stones at him. In Germany, for treason or blasphemy, people were hung with a huge stone which the person had to wear around his neck. For a more serious crime, people were tied in central squares to a pole. The perpetrator could be left under the blazing sun for days or freeze in the cold season. And the others would laugh at him and throw anything they could get their hands on, historians say. Death by fire. Witches were usually tied up and they suffered long agonies as the flames engulfed their bodies and burned them to the ground. This practice was used throughout medieval Europe from Britain to Poland. In Lvov, three women were accused of witchcraft. They were first imprisoned and then the court ordered their execution. They performed rituals that led to the deaths of other citizens. The town dwellers were burnt at the stake in the central square, and the whole town came to watch, says archaeologist Nikolai Bandrivsky, referring to the urban legends. Execution by Bamboo China was not behind in ingenuity. The most horrific deaths were associated with the country's popular plant. People were suspended horizontally over bamboo shoots. The sprouts were deliberately sharpened so that they would stick into the skin of the person. The plant would stick into the skin of the intruder and literally continue to grow inside his body. The man died a long and painful death, the Asian researchers write. It is said that this practice was adopted by the Japanese. They used this method of torture all the way up to World War II, but there is no documentary evidence to support this. Pair of Suffering The most famous and terrible tool used in Europe in the Middle Ages. The pair was used to punish those of non-traditional sexual orientation and women who had terminated a pregnancy. It is possible that this instrument was not used for torture. All the specimens found look too beautiful and exquisite. Hardly anyone would spend a lot of money and ask blacksmiths to forge a device just to torture people, says American writer Jonathan Kirk. Those who disagree with this theory say that the instrument was inserted into the vagina or anus of the offender. The executioner would twist a special screw, the petals inside the body would tear the flesh. The man might not die immediately, he would suffer several days of internal bleeding and blood poisoning. The Brass Bull A terrible tool was invented by the Greeks. Paralaus, a coppersmith, invented a giant hollow statue of a bull and gave it to Phalaris, who ruled Sicily in the 6th century BC. It is remarkable that the tyrant executed the inventor in his own device. A man was placed in a copper animal, and a fire was built under it. The steel was slowly heated, causing inhuman suffering. People screamed, but from outside it seemed to be a roaring bull. Although the device cannot be attributed to the Middle Ages, the method of execution was used in the Byzantine Empire and other states. Only instead of a bull, there were ordinary copper barrels where criminals and prisoners died in incredible agony, historians say. Head Crusher In the Middle Ages, the culprit was glad if he was sentenced to death by hanging or guillotine. Otherwise, the perpetrator would face days of horrible torture. The steel cap was placed over the unfortunate's head. The screw was slowly tightened, and the victim's skull literally began to crack. First all of the man's teeth would crumble, then his eyes would fall out. At the end, the barely breathing intruder's skull cracked. Bows and Arrows on another continent in the Middle Ages, the Mayan tribes used their own methods of torture, punishment and sacrifice. In addition to the famous extraction of the heart, the ancient civilization had other ways to mock the still-living human being. The most popular was archery. One arrow would be fired at the tethered victim, he would be tortured, and the archer would dance around him. Then the ritual was repeated for a long time until the unfortunate person died, wrote archaeologist and Mayan researcher Robert Scherer. Torture with filth In Russia used different methods to punish the guilty or find out from him important information. One of them was particularly cruel. They poured several liters of hot oil or horse urine down their throats. After that the person's stomach would swell up, and the executioners would beat him with rods and sticks. This is how the truth was beaten out of the accused in Russia. It was believed that no one would say anything without torture, says historian Alexander Hakobian. 